That's T I double G U R. This is your work, and some of it are these like independent films that we're looking at. They're going to be uh, films. No. Are they? Mostly what are they? They're studio productions. <laughs> just okay. stuff I thought people might recognize. How many years have you been doing this kind of work? And let's describe. Let's start with what do you call yourself? Because I think you got you wear a lot of hats. So what would you call yourself? I hyphen it, like everyone in Hollywood. <laughs> um, now, uh, animation director, writer, storyboard artist, I guess, uh, mainly. What would you say to young people who want to get into this business? What do they need to have in terms of talent and training, if you can say that succinctly? It would depend on what they want to do specifically, I guess. Um, in general, you uh, have to be willing to work your butt off because there's a, tons of other people who want to do it. In terms of getting into animation as an artist of some kind, I think you got to figure out where your niche is in the business specifically because there's so many different types of artists and they and then there's so many different genres now that you can even do online work and get started you can do your own thing now when it was too expensive to do that before now you can do that so uh, there's there's so many more possibilities than there were to start by creating your own project and that there were, it was more difficult to do that when I was a kid. <laughs> so. How long have you lived in the canyon? Uh, Ten years. Are you loving it? Do, what do you love most about it? Um, it actually reminds me of my hometown, which is Laguna Beach, and that's one of the reasons I picked this location. I also picked it because it was close to the studios. So, well, we're excited you're here. We're excited to hear more about it. Thank you very much. Carlos, how long have you lived in the canyon now? Uh, it's coming right up on 20 years. So. 20 years. And yeah. why did you pick this area to move to? Um, well, it was partly just the house we stumbled on. Mm -hmm. That was, I used to be in construction, and this house was literally red-tagged and was just a disaster. And it's the only way we could afford to get into it, actually, because I mean, because of that, no one else was interested in buying. Um, but you've done amazing things with it. Now yeah, your house so is special. Tell us about your house. Twenty yeah. years. Yeah, mm -hmm. just got on the uh, what is it called? The historic <laughs> Glendale Historic Society list, whatever that's called. Mm -hmm. Jean knows all that stuff. I don't. You also wear a lot of hats in this business, but you do have a specialty, and you're oh, yeah. hugely successful. Oh. Describe what you do. Um, what it's called and what you do, what that means. I'm considered an orchestrator composer somewhat. But these days I've kind of left the composing be behind because I'm not that good with people, so I'd rather hide behind the other composer and let him deal with the director and the producers. And You have a long-standing relationship with a very well-known composer. Do you want to talk to us about that? Um, sure. I work with Danny Elfman quite a bit, and I guess going on not over 20 years now, probably 25 years or so. Um, all the way back to Batman and um, some other things like that. And you've got an amazing reel to show us tonight, so we can't wait. I to hope hear it plays. It. <laughs> you've been part of America's movie-going experience for decades. The movies that you've worked on. So this, this is, is exciting for us. So we can't wait so. to hear about them. So thank you so well, much. Thanks for having okay, me. Thanks for being here. Okay. Appreciate bye -bye. it. My nerves are shot. This is a catastrophe. What would our father say? I'll tell you what our father would say. He'd say he's going to kill himself. Mainly I call myself an animator. Uh, I've been a supervising animator. I've been a director of some small projects. But most projects I'm an animator. Uh, I've been doing it for, um, I guess, around 40 years. Um, I started in Kansas City after I went to art school. Uh, did a few commercials, a few small projects, and then I heard that uh, that they were training people at Disney uh, that the nine old men uh, were were starting to retire, and so they were training young people. So I uh, moved to LA with my wife, and um, luckily got into the training program, and was trained by Eric Larson, who's one of the one of the nine old men. And that's really how I got started at Disney. I worked on The Little Mermaid, uh, Tarzan, uh, Hercules, um, The Simpsons movie, 
Uh, I've worked on some computer animated films, Open Season, Monster House. I did some of the airplanes in The Aviator. Um, Any favorite projects? My favorites are The Little Mermaid and Tarzan. Why is that? Uh, I loved doing Sebastian the Crab. I thought he was a really great character, great voice, great personality. Tarzan, I thought, just turned out to be a really great film. How long have you lived in the canyon? Uh, we've been here about 30 years, I believe. Uh, we bought a fixer-upper, a one-bedroom, one-story fixer-upper, and we have added on twice, and we don't plan to move. <laughs> we like it here very much. You were born in, in Athens, though, I yes? Athens. You were born in Greece, and then you came over here to I work? No, I came to, to go to college. I went to CalArts, and then I graduated from CalArts, and then I worked, started working in this uh, industry. So you've done an I amazing have. body of work, so let's talk a little bit about that. Uh, yeah, I started my career as an animator, a 2D animator. Then I kind of uh, moved from there to story. Uh, where I'm working as a story artist actually right now at DreamWorks and meanwhile I produce some stuff. I had my own studio back in Greece for a while. I produced like TV special commercials. I animated on those uh, short films, internet uh, films, just, um, it's just a lot of different stuff. You know. You've done so much but do you have a favorite project that you could talk about? Uh, you know, um, from the early days of the 2D animation, I think my favorite project was uh, Spirit, which was a movie about a horse, Spirit, uh, Stallion of the Cimarron. Uh, recently, you know, I, I worked on um, a Turbo, which was an animated movie about a snail that uh, wanted to be a racing car. I liked that project a lot. and. Um, this la last uh, film I did, my own film, you know, I kind of think it's like the best thing I've done on, on, on my own side, at least, you know. How long have you lived in the canyon and what, when did you come here and what brought you here? Uh, I lived here since 2004, I think October 2004, we bought the house. Um, I used to live in Glendale in another area and then I moved back to Greece uh, since I established a studio there for a few years and I sold the house and when we came back uh, with my wife to work on a DreamWorks production I wanted to purchase a house again and I was looking around and I found this house and we like it it was kind of isolated and uh, nice and uh, we decided to buy it and live here